Oh, oh, fantastic. Thanks. Okay, you're caught on camera saying I'm a convinced Christian. I am. Right? So and I said I would deal with that. So I want to deal with that. What what convinces you that Christianity is the truth? I became a Christian about a year, year and a half ago. Okay. Because I very quickly decided that the resurrection was the central point. And when I examined the historical evidence of that, I was left with no choice but to become a Christian. Okay. So you say the resurrection is the focal point. Yeah. Obviously, the Bible says I think that. The resurrection oh, okay. Okay. Christianity. Would you know about the resurrection and the crucifixion without the Bible? We would know from people who claimed that it happened. Right. Who claimed Jesus resurrected from the grave outside of the Bible? You see examples in Tacitus and Josephus and other areas. Tell me what Josephus said about Jesus resurrected from the grave. I don't know the quote for example. I don't know the quote verbatim, but I know that if you take Josh Josephus, you will learn that there are people... Was Josephus he... alive at the time? He was the first century Jewish author, so yes. Was he alive at that time? Yes. Who told you that? He was the first century Jewish author of that period. Would all right. You see, peace of Christ to all of you. This is here where we see the mentality and the stupidity of the Muslims. I'm sorry to say the word stupidity, but this is how it is. He's asking if this historian was alive in the time of Jesus. Yet his prophet came 600 years after Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never spoke the language of Jesus. He never been in the land where Jesus was. And he believed in what Muhammad said without even one witness or one historian prove what Muhammad said. Do you see the stupidity of this conversation? Was he there? He was, a, he was a contemporary of Jesus. Right. So let's just clarify your claim. You believe Jesus resurrected yes. because Josephus said so, yeah? No. All right, no. So without the Bible, give me any source that says Jesus resurrected. Josephus says that people believe. So he is saying without the Bible, you cannot find that Jesus is resurrected. That's false. Uh, because... The crucifixion and the resurrection is the belief from the early Christianity. And if you search in Google, this is what I did actually. I did not uh, do, I did not need to do a homework. You know, Prophet Google, peace upon him, helped me very easy. I just searched and I found a list of historian who is speaking about the resurrection of Jesus and the crucifixion of Jesus. All those historian have nothing to do with the Christianity. They are the Christians. They are not paid by the Christians, are not exist in our time, they report that Jesus, there is a person, his name is Jesus, was crucified and was killed by the etc. And the, the Christian, they believe, etc. You know, you can read. Now, the Muslim is asking questions, saying, can you find me any source additional to the Bible? Can you find me any source to prove to me even who is Muhammad? Additional to your Quran? I mean, if you want the Christians to go only by the Bible, we go by the Bible, no problem. But we have a lot of reference about Jesus. Now, if I type the word Muhammad in the Quran, it says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلُهُ الرسول. Muhammad is nothing but a prophet. All messengers died before him. <laughs> this is what the word khalat mean. The stupid Muhammad, he just confirmed that Jesus, he died before him. But now he's in heaven, which means he is resurrected. Now, if I ask you, in the same verse, we have two two issues. One proving that Muhammad is a prophet, all messengers before him die. And then we ask you, who is Muhammad? Do you can you tell us who is this guy Muhammad? In the whole Quran, you cannot find anywhere it says who is Muhammad. Who is Muhammad? There's not even one single reference in the whole world speaking of this guy except Muslim books. If we go and check in the Quran, we cannot find anywhere. Where it says, who is this guy Muhammad? Who is Muhammad? Anybody can tell me? And how the Quran says the messenger, all the messengers pass away behind, before him, and yet you Muslims believe that Jesus never, never passed away. <laughs> so Muhammad, when he speak about himself, we do not know who is Muhammad. There is no proof of Muhammad to be exist anyway. And the earliest historian written, Muslim historian written about Muhammad is more than 200 years after Muhammad. Then if we go and see what the, what the Quran says, what you will say now, you will say, I don't believe in the Quran. I'll say it. All right. When the Quran says as an example, that Mary, she was a virgin. Should I ask you, you were there? Where, what is the proof that Mary, she was a virgin? Hmm? What, is, what is the proof uh, that Mary, she was a virgin?
Any Muslim can tell us? How is that? So how you Muslims accept such a thing without you were there? You Muslims, you were there just to show you the hypocrisy of the Muslims. When you believe that Mary, she was a virgin, is that because you were there? Or just because Muhammad, he says so and you believe it? You see the hypocrisy? Suddenly, they don't question what is the, what is the proof of this? I mean, what, what is additional proof to the Quran that Mary, she was a virgin except the Bible? Was Muhammad there? <laughs> and actually, even if he was there, how you can prove that? I mean, my mother, she can claim to be a virgin too. I mean, who can, who can witness this? This is something private. And what the point that Mary, she is a virgin? Can Muslims explain to us? I mean, why, why only Mary, she is a virgin out of all women in the world? They can't explain because Muhammad is just a thief. Copy paste. If we ask you who is Israel in the Quran, can you tell us? Israel. Who is Israel? Who is this guy, Israel? I want to know. Any volunteer Muslim can tell me? The Quran report the name of Israel 40, 41 times, mentioned in 32 verses, I think. And nowhere in the Quran it's telling us even who is this guy. So how we will know who is Israel? The only way for you to know is to go and learn from our books. Oh, children of Israel. And Israel, Israel is a person who forbid himself from eating. It's, who is Israel? We do not know. All those verses are speaking about Israel. But nobody can tell us who is Israel. Like now here, chapter 3, verse number 93. If we ask any Abdul, okay, this guy here in this verse, who is he? All food was lawful to the children of Israel, except what Israel made unlawful for itself. Who, okay, who is Mr. Israel? <laughs> this is a, the most stupid book. Where you can find the reference of a guy, his name is reference, is, is Israel. Where we can find him? You will say to me in the hadith, but the hadith written more than 200 years after Muhammad. You will say to me, oh, from the, from the Bible, so we have to go to the Bible to know. And why his name is Israel? The Quran mentioned a guy, his name is Jacob. Okay, suddenly he became Israel. Can you tell me why? Where, where is the connection? There's no connection because Muhammad is a thief. If we ask you who is Salih, who is Idris? If we ask you who is the three messengers were sent to the city of Antakya? Who, you know, most of he's asking for a witness saying you were there. You're my friend, your prophet when his wife, she made her, her father drunk. You were there, but you accept the story. He, she made her father drunk in order to marry Muhammad. How the wife of Muhammad, she examined the, the, the inspiration by her legs. She did striptease, but you accept the story. You were there. In Islam, there's no witnesses for anything. Anyone saw Muhammad uh, angel? Muhammad, even his sexual relationship have no witnesses. Which mean, I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet have sex, but yet he was with no one? Read with me. The prophet continued for such and such a time, period of time, imagining that he had sex with his wife, but in fact, he did not. I mean, <laughs> this is amazing. This guy, even his sex, not only the angel come to him, nobody saw him. He never did a miracle. He never did anything. There's no witnesses. He went to the seven heavens, seven eleven, on top of a flying monkey, donkey, but you, nobody saw it. And the Muslim don't ask you where they are. So how you accept everything Muhammad, he said about Jesus, when this guy, obviously, he is bewitched, according to you Muslims, which means he is imagining things. He, it cannot be true. It's not a true. This is what you're written in your books. This guy is mentally ill. And different hadith says the prophet, he imagines himself that he was doing some other things, but in fact, he did not. And different hadith says that the prophet was bewitched. Actually, the same hadith saying that. And the Quran mentioned that. And the Quran mentioned that Allah, he will delete the satanic verses from the mouth of Muhammad. So how you accept Muhammad to be a witness for himself? You see, even in Islam, in the stupid religion of Islam, if somebody commit adultery, you have to have four witnesses. Can you provide me, can Muhammad provide me four witnesses that he was up in heaven? 
Can you provide me for witnesses? You Muslim take shahada, shahada me witnessing, but you witness for something you never saw. Muhammad never saw Allah, never spoke to Allah, so how he can be a prophet of Allah? Even Muhammad, when he received his Quran, as an example, the chapter of Al-Fatiha, I'm not going to talk about the chapter of uh, 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 96, which is very funny, where the angels squeeze him. Even in that chapter in Al-Fatiha, you're a prophet, he was, Deliver Quran when he was doing poo, poo I mean, have you ever heard of a prophet of God getting Quran when he was doing poo, poo? I mean, can the angel wait until he finish it? And what make it more funny that your prophet here run each time he hear the, the the voice of the angel? Now, who who was witnessing Muhammad doing poo, poo here? Did you ask your prophet who was with you? Whenever he went out, she doesn't say he went out, he went to do poo poo. Whenever he went out, he used to hear someone calling him, Oh, Muhammad. And whenever he heard this, he used to flee. <laughs> Is that a Charlie Chaplin movie? So the one who reported the story, he was there. You Muslims, you go with your prophet to do when he do poo poo at night. And why he flee? So you see, guys, the hypocrisy and the stupidity, they are asking you, You were there. Was Muhammad there? A guy he never met Jesus. He don't speak the language of Jesus. He don't even write his own language. He yet became the professor of religion and he is your teacher. And he is the one who will tell you if Jesus was resurrected or not. However, my friend, I have a bad news for you. Even the Quran confirmed that Jesus is yes, resurrected. How is that? Because if you go in the Quran, you will find that the Quran said that Jesus was crucified by appearance. You see, the Quran did not tell a story in details. Or what the Quran said, that they killed him not, they crucified him not, but they killed his appearance. How we can understand if this is a clone or not, this is interpretation. But in the Quran it says, it was made to appear to them. What does that mean? This can have a, a thousand interpretation. It can be they are killing him by body, but not by spirit. His spirit is alive. It was made to appear to them. Okay, so they killed the body. This is confirmed. They killed somebody in the cross, and this this one who was in the cross, he appeared to be Jesus. Now, do you have witnesses that this is not Jesus? You just confirmed to me that this is was someone look exactly like Jesus. Can you confirm to me how can this happen? I mean, what is the possibility that a human being look exactly like someone else and he get killed? And even his mother, she did not notice that he is not Jesus. You just confirm that this is what Jesus, at least by appearance, by voice, by hair, by eyes. Now, can you provide me with one reference that says it was not Jesus? You were there? <laughs> This is how stupid this religion is. Thank you guys for uh, being here. Don't forget to share the video and download it with your friends. Islam is made by stupid men for the stupid people. Are you stupid too? If you are stupid, give me this like. If you are smart, give it a like and use your brain. Don't use he said, she said. Don't use copy paste method. Use your brain. God gave you a gift. Just use it. Thank you very much for uh, listening. And if you like to learn more about Islam, feel free to get my books from Amazon.com. Just search for Christian Prince and you will find the rest, the list of my books in that uh, Amazon.com or Amazon Germany or Amazon France, etc. Just, just search for my books and you will learn how stupid this cult is. Thank you very much for watching and may the Lord bless you all. And this is a Christian Prince who was with you and see you soon again. Thank you.